Welcome back folks to Let's Play The Whispered World and reviewing my last video, I completely forgot an item that had appeared over on this side. Namely, pants. Those are not Grandpa's pantaloons. That's a bit disappointing. <laughs> I thought it might be. The Bobby's pantaloons. But um, we now need to uh, figure out how to get into certain places. And that is not a place that we're going to figure out how to get into. We're going to have to get onto the balcony. And there's only one way to get to the balcony, and that is to climb. Uh, can we climb up here? There we go! I don't even know why I didn't consider that. There's a tapestry, though. This tapestry is hung on a bar. It can be moved, obviously. Let's move it. Oh, there's a lever. Hmm. An ergonomic handle with an axle. That must be a lever. Fair enough. Let's move the tapestry back. There's a shield, though. There's a gap behind this shield. Hang on. There seems to be something behind it. Well, I know what to do with that. Hey, Spot. Can you help me get this shield off the wall somehow? Probably can. There. And now? Now we use this. Ha! As I suspected all along. A... Wait for it. A secret mechanism. Excellent. And there's a shield now. Can we... Interesting. The counterweight for that gate over there hangs from this chain. Oh. So if I were to... <laughs> okay, you can't just do that. Uh, plan? Oh, I cannot believe that worked! Right, now I can get on the balcony. I can head upstairs. Hey, someone to talk to! Oh. Hey, you! Hello! Are you the royal astronomer? I own? I own? What's that supposed to mean? Bervigus Iser Ogre O Iver? What? What? Bervigus Iser Ogre O Iver? Uh, yeah, exactly. Thanks, Ogre. I own and so on. To Iver, too. Oh dear. Obviously, the astronomer speaks a foreign language. Astronomic or something. No. I think, to be honest, it's because of these encyclopedias. I noticed them as soon as I came in. They are in completely the wrong order. Oh dear, it's all mixed up. <sighs> Let's get them the All right, right. go for it. You know what? I bet he can talk now. And I bet oh there's a there's a crank here. We need that for the well. That's quite impressive. I have to admit, I'm deeply daunted. Excellent. Now, astronomer. Now can we talk to you? Probably That's not the king for sure. Let's talk to the astronomer now. Hello. Hello? Can you really not understand me? What? How? Uh, wait a second. I can understand you after all. <laughs> yeah. Loud and clear even. Hello. How fortunate. Uh, Too late? For what? Oh. We've got big trouble. Have you? The king, the fountain, the fabric of space and time. Oh. Hold it, hold it. Um, why don't you start from the beginning? Who are you anyway? Always a good question to start on. Who are you anyway? I am the Royal Astronomer. The King would have been better to hire a couple of soldiers. Where's the rest of the staff? They fled. So what are you still doing here? What do you think? 
I'm keeping my calm. If the world is ending anyway, it makes no difference where I am, does it? But if a hero happens to show up to save the world, he might need help. So you know what to do? In theory, yes. But before you get your hopes up too high, our chances are slim. Where can I find the king? Where can I find the king? You can't at the moment, I'm afraid. He's retreated to his chambers. Oh. And those are behind his door, right? That's right. But the door can only be opened when there's water in the fountain. And the fountain is broken, I bet. One could say that, yes. What's wrong with the king? What's wrong with the king? It doesn't look good. The king is very weak. He needs... The water of life. But the fountain has run dry, and the way to his chambers is blocked. One would have to repair the fabric of space and time. That would get both the fountain and the door working again. Unfortunately, only the king himself can do that. That sounds like a vicious circle. There is no possible solution. Like I told you, it doesn't look good. No, no, it doesn't. What's the trouble with the fountain? The fabric of space and time has ripped. And by fabric of space and time, you mean... The model of the planetary system. Over there. Okay. It's a very powerful object. It not only drives the fountain, it also represents our planetary system. It's almost a perfect model. How exciting for an astronomer. Don't be fooled. Planetary movement, times of the day, cycles of the year. This model measures the very heartbeat of our world. In oh. doing so, it reaches such a level of accuracy, you could almost say that the world acts in accordance with it. One thing's for sure, mind you, they both influence each other. The world acts in accordance to the model? Yes! Isn't that fascinating? Kind of. Does that mean if, if somebody was to repair the model, the end would be prevented? In theory, yes. But only somebody of royal blood could do something like that. It's far too important. But that king is locked behind this door. Yes. Which won't open. You're right. Because the model of the planetary system is broken. That is the problem. Heavens, whoever conceives these absurd mechanisms all the time? That's a good question. Could I help? I could help, couldn't I? <laughs> you don't make a fool of yourself. Only the king is important enough to repair the model of the planetary system. But the king isn't here. Let me at least try. What possible harm could there be? True. Could the world end twice? Hmm, that's a valid thought. There, just tell me what to do. There are a couple of things. Right. <sighs> like always. First of all, there is no oil for lubrication. Right. Without oil, it can't be cranked up. Much worse, though, is that one of the planets is missing. The Whispering Stone. Ah. Did you say Whispering Stone? Yes. It represents our planet in the space-time continuum. Uh -huh. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's lost. Uh, I've got some bad news. I've got some bad news. That's not very uncommon <laughs> these days, but never mind. Fire away. Um. Spot has swallowed the Whispering Stone. What are you saying? You know where the Whispering yes. Stone is? Um, not exactly. My pet has swallowed it. Oh, no. Say it's not true. We need the stone to repair the fabric of space and time. Without it, we're dead in the water. I should have fed him in time. Your lamenting doesn't help. You'd better come up with something. In the meantime, I look for my dissecting instruments. What? Oh, that won't be necessary. I'll find another way. What else can we say that's bad? It has been prophesied to me that I'll destroy the world. And that brings you running straight to the control room of the universe? Yep. I don't want to criticize too harsh, okay. but it doesn't sound as if you've given it much thought. The Askill are planning an attack. We'd better hurry then. Only the king can save us from the Askill. He's in the door, and the, uh, he's, but he's locked himself away. We can't rely on the king. I'm not a hero. Just an untalented clown. Oh. Hmm. 
A clown, you say? Yeah. Not a hero? Not no. a prince? No. no. Just, a clown. Just a clown. And not even a good one at that. Oh. Do you at least have a birthmark? Or, or a peculiar scar? Nothing of that sort. Well, <sighs> it's really bad then. <laughs> I could go on talking about problems the whole day long. It looks very bad indeed, my friend. Okay. Nice ear trumpet. Nice ear trumpet. <gasps> what are you saying? <sighs> all right, all right. A few more questions. I have a few more questions about the repair. Questions? What questions? Didn't you listen closely enough? I did, I did. But it's a lot of information in one go. All right, all right. What exactly is the problem? I can't find any oil. Have you tried the alchemy lab in the adjoining tower? <sighs> My brother used to distill oil from olive pits there. Uh -huh. I can't think of anything else at the moment. Your brother? Yes. He was the royal alchemist of the court. What became of him? He died of natural causes. Oh. Well, natural for an alchemist. Ah. <laughs> His boots were still smoldering at the funeral. I'd rather try it alone. You do that. Right. I think I know what to do now. So why are you still standing here? Go on, go on. Time is running out. Right. We have a planetary system. We have some cog wheels. And we can't get the whispering stone out of that. The gearbox seems to be all right. I'd better not mess with that. Is there anything else in this room of any particular note? There's a telescope, there's a blackboard, there's chalk! Aha! We want that chalk. I'm sure that'll be useful. It's an item that we can pick up, after all. Nice. Let us... head down. And probably out here. I'm just thinking ahead now. Can we use the crank on the well? Will this re will this get us anything? It would seem so. Is there anything in the bucket? Wow, a whole bucket of water. I guess that makes up for the blisters on my hands. Can we take it? What for? I still got the bucket with me. Ah! Ah, oh, and we took the crank back. So we have a bucket of water now. Hmm. The messenger's pants. It's completely burned out. Hmm. Does this work? No. The only thing missing is the ring of the door knocker. Ring of the door knocker. There's no ring here. No. We could put some water in the trough. The cow has enough food. Okay. The cow probably has a purpose, though. But what I'm yet to fathom. So we got to get into this opposite room here. Can't draw chalk on it. Let's I'm just grasping at straws here. A bit. No, the only thing Okay. Nothing out here. Can I take a branch? One branch is enough. Okay, fine, it won't let me take another. That's fair. That's fair. So we have a bucket of water now. We could feed Spot the water. He's had enough already. He's bit, He's in his big form. Let's make him back to his normal one. There we go. Hmm, there's a seesaw. So, nothing there. Hmm. Can't do much with that. Can't do much with any of that. And that's missing a piece. <laughs> So this then goes up to here. There is something I'm missing. Hey, 
Here's a volume about astronomy. Let's see. Vernicus is bigger than Frobble, but smaller than Avrius. The planet in the middle is called Ponytooth. It's the biggest of the five planets. Looking from the sun, the planets keep getting bigger and smaller again after Ponytooth. Silentia is the second planet in the system. But it's not the second smallest. Frobble is often shaded by the second largest planet, which is one position nearer to the sun. Uh-huh. That is all probably going to be important, isn't it? Include me out. I'm not going to touch anything here. Let alone break something. Uh, for a change, I mean. Can we use the telescope? The telescope seems something pretty important, but we're not going to be fiddling around with that. I can just agree to you. Can I look through that tube, please? Uh, no. No, obviously. That must have been very expensive. Okay. I can't do anything with... Ah. Uh-huh. Hello there, little thing that is hidden. <laughs> I can use this on the door to the alchemist. <laughs> Took a little bit of searching, but I did find it. <laughs> Just that silence when you realize that you've seen something. It's like, yes, I have found this, and now I can use it on the door. And with this... There at last. Why did that open because of that? Oh... Dear. I have to say, this looks like a pipe maze. Can I use it? Oh dear, the pipes are all topsy-turvy. There are open tube ends everywhere from which steam emerges. But I only see two cork stoppers. I should repair that immediately. Okay, this is clearly a puzzle. Hmm. And we need to make sure... Can't turn that one right. Got it. Can't turn that one either. Hmm. Only two cork stoppers. Right. Can't turn this one either. That's a broken pipe. So that doesn't seem useful. Uh, that'll do. Run it. No, hang on. There's one. Trick? I think that probably actually will. Haha! -ha, I think that will do the trick. One nice little maze there, and oh dear word, a paint blender. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to having. Ooh, we can take this though. And can we open this chest? What's in a mortar and pestle? Yes, we shall have that too. So when we come back, folks, I'm going to have to fiddle around with paint and with all of this alchemical equipment. I'm not looking forward to this, but Sadwick was uh, ever the alchemist in his youth. Disclaimer, Sadwick's never been an alchemist. I'll catch you later. See you then. Later.